Hello TechEds, this is TechEd Kirsch, and in this video I want to show you how I went from placing my 3D models of my PCB footprints on my footprints one way so that the snap points align exactly where they're supposed to align. Okay, so I have my part here. I love to look at parts in Octopart because I can see everything all in one, um, all in one page. The inventory history, the likelihood that it will be available, and especially the CAD models. This is what I like. It shows you all the websites where you can find CAD models. So here you would go to the CAD model for this uh, USB A type connector, choose download, and then it will take you to the appropriate download link. Now I've already downloaded this footprint. In fact, I got it from Ultra Librarian here. And once downloaded, I can get the 3D model from the manufacturer as well or from Snap EDA. Once that's done, I import the PCB footprint and the schematic symbol into my Altium Designer software. And by the way, if you're not using Altium Designer, then I highly recommend clicking on the link in the description below. The link is a special link where you'll get not only Altium Designer for free on a tr free trial, you can also get a discount, you'll, like you'll also get discounted on the software Altium with Altium 365, specifically for YouTube viewers, 25% off your Altium designer purchase, okay? So go ahead, click on the link below and follow along. Open up the PCB lib. If you don't see the footprint immediately, you need to go to panels, then choose PCB library. That makes the PCB library tab available. You click on the footprint and then it should become visible. If it still doesn't, you want to double click and it will make it visible. So choose place 3D body. And this is where I downloaded my step file. Click open. It's attached to my cursor and I can just place it wherever. I can right click to end mode and then go into 3D view by hitting three on my keyboard. I see that the part is uh, flipped about like the wrong way about its x-axis, I would say. So I'll click on this 3D model and then I can rotate it how I want. Um, typically what I do is like hold down the shift key, right mouse button my way to the bottom of this thing and then go to tools, 3D body placement, align face with board, select the part select the pad to connect to the PCB footprint or to be at the top of the PCB footprint and click on it and rotate the part. So if I click on here, rotate about the Z axis so it's zero. Then I would go to view it on the top side and then manually move my, my 3D model along my footprint. Okay. Now this is generally good enough when I'm like quickly placing 3D models on footprints, but I want to show you a, a more optimal kind of way to do this. Let's say I have some weird shaped pad or point and I want to get the center of this pad on my 3D model dead, dead on the center of this footprint. So instead of just manually moving there, I'd use snap vertices instead. So what I do is hold down the shift key, you know, rotate, move this around. And you can see it too. There's a snap grid point here. You won't see this by default. So you need to go to panels and choose view configuration and then change your system colors option to make 3D body reference point visible and even custom snap points visible. Once you've done that, right, you want to you know, look at the underbody of this thing, and we're gonna set some snap points to the center of this pin. I want the center of this pin to align with, say, the center of this pad, right? To do that, I'd go to Tools, 3D Body Placement, add snap points from vertices. Now I can zoom in, look at some vertices where I wanna 
you know, set my center snap points at. But well, let me click on the snap model first and then add my vertices. So there's one here, one there, right? Maybe another, let's see, uh, another sort of like here, another here, right? I right click, that's it. These snap points, they're going to appear if I click on the device and then I'll see snap points. So what you can do is select all of these or delete any of them. But I select all of them and average them and then they would have the center, they would average the center of these four points. Then I can use this center snap point to align this pin onto my PCB footprint pad. So let's go ahead and do that. Hit the two key to go back in 2D mode and notice you'll see like a default snap point for my my 3D model, but here's my custom snap point I created. And when I move it over to the pad I want to, see that green circle appears and a balloons up there and then I just place it on. Now if I look at the 3D model view, that's how it looks. Okay. That's not ideal. So what I'm going to do is change my average, my my centralized snap point. So how do we do this? Okay, I can click on my 3D model. This is my average custom snap point. I'm going to delete this and then try again. Move this out the way, go back into 3D mode. And then this is just to demonstrate to you the process again so you can really get it. And quick note here I use Altium Online Viewer a lot when I want to share my design to someone inside or outside of my organization and they don't have Altium installed. So you can upload your schematic PCB document files from various different software, from Altium, of course, Autodesk Eagle, even Gerber files and KiCad. Okay, so make use of that. The link is in the description below. And I'm going to move this, rotate this a little bit, go to Tools, 3D Body Placement, Add Snap Points from Vertices. Now I can go into centroid mode, like a centralized snap point mode. First, I want to click my 3D model. Well, I want to press the space bar. Okay. And notice in the, the note above here, it says pick vertex one of two. The snap point will be placed at their midpoint. So I'm going to pick one, right? And it says pick two of two. The snap point will be placed at their midpoint. And I'll go with something like this. And the snap point is placed at their midpoint. I'll right click to get out of that mode. What happens here is there's my snap point. Okay, there the snap point is on the same plane as my two selections. Okay, this is looking good. Maybe that's a bit further back since I chose a point, a second point that's further back. Let's see how this works out. Hit the two key to go back into 2D mode going to drag this over here, place it, and let's see this. Let's see how this looks in the 3D mode. So I'll go to my view 3D control top side. And that's better. Okay. Now if I were to look at the data sheet for the recommended PCB layout, then it might give me some recommendations on how far back to put that, you know, maybe I needed to choose my snap point at uh like my second point somewhere deeper into the heel of this thing. Okay. And the fine details will come in like the like IPC J standards and IPC 2221 and 7351 for acceptability of uh, assembly on your printed circuit board and your PCB footprints. But this is the process uh, that I learned on the job and this is the benefit of getting industry experience and being trained and supported by mentors in the industry. Once you've added your PCB footprint to your library, how do you make sure that it gets included in your whole design and it's properly attached to your schematic symbol? Well, watch the next video to see how to associate a PCB footprint with its schematic symbol in Altium Designer.